First Corinthians in the chapter 12. Leo, Nataka is the booms and Usu of the spiritual gifts or the gifts of the Holy Spirit. A Karama Bazo Rob Takatifu Upeana. And just to begin, I'm saying the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So, his karama siyo za kukua trained haufunzwi Well, the moment you have your gift ama your karama kuna bida ambavyo unaweza saidiwa kukua nayo lakini muanzo ama chanzo cha karama hiyo iro mtakatifu iro mtakatifu kwa naeswa sifiwe sana and uh, before we read, ni vizuri kuweza kujua kwamba atuongei kusu spiritual gifts ama gifts of the Holy Spirit ambazo ni watu fulani wanaongelelewa ama ni watu fulani wanafaa kuwa nazo. As we shall see, the Bible says, actually in verse 11, yeah, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, Verse 11, the Bible says, It is the one and only hope, oh, it is the one and only Spirit who distributes all these gifts. He alone decides gifts, which gift each person should have. So every believer, every child of God, can or has the gift that the Spirit has given. And the Spirit of God is not a CEO, CEO, mu, 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 you always have to which gift has the Spirit of God because He loves me and thinks about me, He has given me. Hallelujah. Now, as we look into these gifts, maybe I will read the scriptures. And the Bible says, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, let me start from verse 1. Now, dear brothers and sisters, regarding your question about the special abilities the Spirit gives. Now, when we speak about the Spirit, I am talking about the Holy Spirit. The Vizuri to answer up. Because Maroni me. Maroni mingi watu mungu. Maroni mingi. There is the Holy Spirit and there are spirits. Now, in your Bible, ukiangali expression for those people who are going to English version of the Bible or Biblia za Kingereza Wherever there is a spirit In capital letter Even if the word holy is not there Then you need to understand it is the Holy Spirit Because we say to Kiyomia Kusu the, the, the person The name of a person starts with a capital letter So this one begins with a capital letter I don't know how your version is but young people don't get used to this special abilities, the spirit. So I just have my Holy Spirit, but it is a spirit with capital. So the Bible says. So I, 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 I regarding your question about the special abilities, the spirit gives. I don't want you to misunderstand this. You know that when you are still pagans, you are led astray and swept along in worshiping speechless idols so i want you to know that no one speaking by the spirit of god will cast jesus and no one can say jesus is lord except by the holy spirit verse 4 there are different kinds of spiritual gifts but the same 
spirit is the source of them all. There are different gifts of the spirit. Different. So, sio moja ziko mingi. Lakini, anaye zipeana hizo gifts ni the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of service. Huduma ziko mingi. But we serve the same Lord. So, the Spirit gives the gifts. And then, the, the working, the putting into effect. The putting into effect that gift which the Spirit has given you. You are serving the Lord as you use that gift that you have been given by the Holy Spirit. Remembering, the Lord is Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit of God and God himself, they work together. And as I said the other day, every one of them has some distinct responsibilities or, or things to do, but they work together. Our, 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 they are all working together. And that is why we speak of the Holy Trinity. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, the Spirit gives the gifts. And then what you are going to do with that gift, it is the service to the law. So the Bible says, there are different kinds of service, but we serve the same Lord. Tuna muhudumia ama kumtumikia buwana Yesu. Mwoja, hakuna wengine. Buwana Yesu, Christo. Now, look at this. I love the way. You know, we have got the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. They work together. Look at verse 6. God, now is mentioned. We have seen about the Spirit. We have seen about uh, the Lord, who is now Jesus Christ. Now, sasa tunaona God is being introduced here. God works in different ways. But it is the same God who does the work in all of us. Mungu anatenda mambo tofauti. Lakini ni mungu yule yule. Now verse 7. A spiritual gift is given to each of us so we can help each other. To one person, the Spirit gives us ability to give wise advice. To another, the same Spirit gives a message of special knowledge. The same Spirit gives great faith to another. And to someone else, the one Spirit gives the gift of healing. He gives one person the power to perform miracles and another ability to prophesy. He gives someone else the ability to decide whether a message is from the Spirit of God or from another spirit. If you notice, just to confirm what I said earlier, uh, okay, one, oh, 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 oh. he gives someone else the ability to decide whether a message is from the Spirit of God. Now, up of the Spirit of God is in capital letter, S, or from another spirit, small s, meaning the spirit which is not of God. While another uh, ability to speak in a known language, while another is given the ability to interpret what is being said. It is the one and only spirit who distributes all these gifts. He alone decides which gift each person should have. One is was if you were son. So, all those gifts that I've read, wrong takatifu na peana. But ni vizuri kujiuliza before we get back to those scriptures. These gifts that the Spirit is giving, zina peanoa kwa nani ama wapi? Where are these gifts being given out to? These gifts. They are to the body of Christ. They are to the body of Christ. And you and me, 
we are part of the body of Christ. We are part of the body. Now the body is whole. The Bible says this, verse 12, we continue. Human body, a very good example. The human body has many parts. But the many parts make up one whole body. Sini ngwele? Kuna mkono na mkono ingine. Kuna kichwa na kuna mku. Kuna vidole za mku na kuna vidole I mean, za mkono na kuna vidole za mku. Na zote azifanani. Right? And many other organs inside of us that are working. We don't know how they are working, but they are working. Liver, Pigos, Iso, Maini, Raw, Veins, they are all organs, part of the body. They make one person, which is you or me. So many of them. And the Bible continues to say, so it is with the body of Christ. Some of us are Jews, some are Gentiles, some are slaves, and some are free. But we have all been baptized into one body by one spirit. Capital spirit. So Holy Spirit. And we all share the same spirit. I have a friend of mine, and we talk sometimes, and you know, we can invite you to go and just fellowship, nini, 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 just talk. And uh, anytime when we are having a discussion, and I make a pastor, a good to find you, Mungu Huduma, find you, Mungu Kazi, and a company, Wapi, and a Wapi, men of Omi Wapi, men of Zirika Wapi, and Wapi, was a bab, how not be Guyako? Namimi Sita be Guyako. Bingu ni gapi? Bingu ni moja? This is only one heaven. And uh, I'll just, that's what the Bible says. We all have been baptized into one body by one spirit. And we all share the same spirit. And of course, when we talk of one body, one spirit, same one God. Nakuna bingu wa wili. The heaven is one. Now, yes, the body has many different parts, not just one part. If the food says, I am not a part of the body because I am not a heart, that does not make it any less a part of the body. And if the ear says, I am not part of the body because I am not an eye, would that make it any less part of the body? No. If the whole body were an eye, how would you hear? With what the you imagine with what the body is doing? Come on, you know the bear goes. No, you know the bear is bigger than you. So there is no way. But our bodies have many parts, and God has put each part just where He wants it. Honor, Mungu. Ameweka kila kiungo cha mwili kuwa mahali kinafaa. Ana sikio sana. Na God alijua vizuri sana weke macho hapo, akiweka na hapa nyuma. Na hivyo Mungu alikuwa na uwezo wa kuweka na hapa na hapa nyuma ama kamoja hivi, eh? Ama kasaidi bila. Unange bwana na unaona nyuma na huko nyuma vile kuliko. Lakini Mungu hapo ana ibali sema leo tayari hapa hivi. Ukitaka kuangalia nyuma utapinduka na nitakupa uwezo wa kupinduka wa majini. The Bible says every part of the body Mungu ameiweka mahali ambapo inafaa. Is that what the scripture says? Nasema hivyo yako Biblia yako. Ah? Wewe kando somi pamoja. Tunasoma. Yes, verse 19, verse 20, 18. But our bodies are many parts and God has put each each part just where he wants it. And, mani ya papa mungu ya meweka hiyo sehemu. Let me say this. Hiyo sehemu haiwezi sema mimi sitaki. Uka hapa, nanataka ni ambishwe. Ama ni nahama changu. In fact, 
But the, the only thing it can happen ni kutoka. Kama ni jicho ni kutoka tu litoke na hivezi ikafeed mahali pengine. So we have seen people wametolewa mkono kwa sababu ya ugonjwa or something ama miguu. Huo mguu utolewa kambio wacha uweko hapo kwa mgongo ukaage hapo. Ah ah. Ukitolewa umetoka. So every part stays in its position. Now, how strange a body would be if it had only one part. Yes, there are many parts, but only one body. The eye can never say to the heart, I don't need you. The head can't say to the feet, I don't need you. In fact, some of the parts of the body that seem weakest and least important are actually the most necessary. Kuna sehemu katika mwili tunaona kama ni kama zitumiki sana zinajiki but they are the most necessary. In fact hata tuzionangi ndani naona kwa ukonga yake hapa. No, sindi hapo naona kwa ukonga yako. No, is it you? Nobody. Una ukonga na roho yako bali ko. Hakuna. But you know iko na inafanya kazi muhimu sana. And the parts regard as less Honorable are those we clothe with the greatest care. So we carefully project, protect those parts that should not be seen. Well, the more honorable parts do not require this special care. So God has put the body together such that extra honor and care are given to those parts that have less dignity. This makes for harmony among the members so that all the members are concerned for each other. If one part suffers, all the parts suffer with it. And if one part is honored, all the parts are honored. All of you together are Christ's body. Actually, kwa yu manena yote, sasa paulo wapa ni yonajaribu kuonge. Nyingi wote ni mwili wa Christo. You are all Christ's body. And each of you is a part of the body. Hata yule ambaye ni 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 sehemu kubwa dogo. Ah? You're part of Christ's body. Here are some of the parts God has appointed for the church. First apostles, second prophets, and teachers those who do miracles, those who have gifts of healing, those who can help others, those who have gifts of leadership, those who speak in an own languages. Are we all apostles? Are we all prophets? Are we all teachers? Do we all have the power to do miracles? Do we all have the gift of healing? Do we all have the ability to speak in unknown languages? Do we all have the ability to interpret uh, unknown languages? Of course not. So, you should honestly desire the most helpful gifts. But now, let me just stop at that. And as I speak about the spiritual gifts, let me talk of a church as a marketplace of spiritual gifts. I speak about the church as a marketplace of spiritual gifts. When we come to church, there are different perceptions or reasons of what to fight or where what the church is all about. Kitoka home, unajua mi naenda kanisani leo kwa sababu fulani. Ninaenda nyumbani ya mungu kwa sababu gani. Kuna watu ambao they go to church because it is a place where they find peace. Kuna watu ambao wanaenda kanisani because it is a place where they experience God and they feel good being there. They are both going to church because it's a place of fellowship. Maybe kazini mahali ya mefanya kazi the whole week hajakuwa na any fellowship with anyone. Maybe the only thing that we a fellowship now is computers and machines and products and all that. Hajakuwa na wakati wa kuweza kuongea na mmoja kwa wengine. That is why fellowship is very important. Utoki tu kanisani hivyo. Ah, there are people tukitoka kanisani bidi tu unachomoka. 
it is good to fellowship kidogo with one another get to know how their week was and just encourage one another you can encourage them even if you don't have many words you can they can encourage you even if they don't have very many words kuna wengine wanaenda kanisani pia for just reunion just to meet with friends yeah kuna wengine pia they go to church because it is a place of healing and so many things and it is okay that when you go to church you feel your body go weak you na feel frustrated na hauelewi ni nini kinakusumbua lakini ukifika kanisani because of the aspect of encountering god you go home blessed so different people view the church differently but then today as we speak about spiritual gifts i'm presenting to us i mean uh, to us a church is a marketplace of spiritual gifts a marketplace now when we speak of a marketplace maybe we narrow it down and speak of a market day sikia soko right sikia nini sikia soko now the market day it brings us together it brings people together you remember the market day from your village ah sikia soko kwetu siku ya soko inakuwa anga ya monday hapa ah, leo ni monday na thursday monday watu tokea from so far analeta product zake kwa soko that's the same na unakuta those are the only two days about so maybe several people wanatokea kwa soko because they are going to buy products at a better price kuliko ile siku zingine za kawaida right So I know you remember that. So farmers bring all they have, they have the product they have. Yeah. One uh, either ikwe ni nyanya, mboga, everything and they bring the best, the good quality. And they are sold at good prices and uh, so people come and buy they go. They come and buy they go. When you know let alone the mango, some people come for entertainment in those markets. In other words, each person they bring to the market something which is essential to the community. Bwana sifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kila mmoja analeta kitu ama bidhaa ambayo inasaidia wale ambao wameingia kwa soko. Let me say this, it is really hard to survive vizuri well in the community without the market. You can imagine if there was in a community there's no market kila mtu anaguza kitu yake na anakula yake it would be hard it would be hard there are some of those people who are in some up 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 urban centers or setups ambapo hakuna soko iko hiyo area they travel long distances for markets uliza watu wa langata labda na kare nuko there are those who come from Gai because of soko mjinga yetu hapa yeah they come from far wanakuja hapa sababu wanajua this market they will get all the food commodities and also they touch yeah so you can imagine how it could be hard without a market in other words in a market it is where so many needs are met kwa soko mahitaji mengi sana inakutana hapa and that is why we are saying the church i'm talking about church as a as a as a marketplace of spiritual gifts kwa soko nakuja na doma mwingine anakuja na gwashe mwingine anakuja na maharagwe mwingine anakuja na 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 mahindi mwingine anakuja na nyanya mwingine anakuja na kitunguu or daughters and is of yugo hivyo anaye tengeneza kwa she zake kwa shamba lake pale hawezi aka survive on kwa she alone hawezi na ni sababu anakuja kwa soko anaenda kwa shamba anazitoa anapeleka kwa soko anapata hela za kununua kitungu ama mahindi haragwe alafu anaenda nyumbani anapika na familia wanafurahia ya kwamba nimepata kitu kizuri kwa soko. Bwana sifiwe sana. 
So just like the market, friends, a functioning body of Christ, which is now the church, it is made up of people with different skills and abilities. That's how the church is wired. That's how the church is made. With different abilities. And with different graces. In other words, with different gifts. Hallelujah. And uh, First Corinthians, about to be so much, chapter 12, and verse 28. The Bible is telling us, all of you together, verse 28, are Christ's body, and each of you is part of it. Here are the sum of the parts God has pointed for the church. Now, in the church, before I come to the gifts, there are some abilities, there are some parts. Ambazo mungu wa mechagua kwa sababu ya kanisa. And these abilities that he has given to the church, aziko na kila mmoja. Some of them the Bible says they are the apostles, wale hao ni mitume, the prophets, the teachers, the people that God has gifted to do miracles, the servants that God has given to do healing, and many other ministries. That God has given. That is in verse 28. Now, why has God given the church all these abilities, all these skills? The reason is why God has been Patiana, it is to provide the church with services, Uduma. Mungu has been zile skills, ama zile karama pale. Diposa kandiza diweze kuhudumi ama kuhudumiwa bizuri. Now, when all these offices or when all these uh, 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 abilities are put into use, what happens is this. That the church is full of men and women of wisdom. The church is full with men and women who have knowledge the knowledge of the word of God and the knowledge that is important for their lives. Number two, these men that God has gifted, they are also doing the services in the body of Christ and they are growing the faith of people, of believers. And so just as the market, everyone is benefiting from the other, it is good to understand, even in our church, or in the body of Christ, we are there to benefit from one another. Hatufai kuja tu kanisani kukaa, kubarikiwa na kwenda nyumbani. Tuje kanisani tukae, diyo, tubarikiwe na tubarikiwe ngine. Kwanesha sifuwe sana. Now, let's understand the gifts. The Bible says that Paul, he wanted to, I mean, to come out clear regarding the gifts, the spirit gifts to avoid any misunderstanding that may occur. Apo nipo alianza katika ustari wa kwanza, kasema ya kwamba. Now, brothers and sisters, regarding your questions about the spiritual, the spiritual abilities, the uh, spirit gifts, I don't want you to misunderstand. I don't want you to misunderstand. Understand that that the church in Corinth, the church in Corinthians in Corinth, nilikuwa ni kanisa ambalo likuwa liko attacked na kitu naitwa idol worship. Kulikuwa na mikuabudu sanamu na miungu mingine, watu walikosa kumwabudu Mungu, wakajitengenezea miungu ya kuabudu na vitu kama zile, wakakosa ku play, ku pledge allegiance yao so they were concentrating on what they can do for themselves not so much depending on God so Paul, he didn't want them to continue a lifestyle of worshipping idols and that is why he said now when it comes to serving God and the gifts that God has given I want to come out clear and let you know 
Bwana Yesu asipiwe sana. And that is why Paul introduced the types of gifts. That is why he began by saying there are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit is the source of them all. Bwana Yesu asipiwe sana. Now, what Paul is acknowledging here, and I think I've said that before, is that he acknowledges that all the gifts of the Spirit, different as they may be, they all originate from the same Spirit of God, from the Holy Spirit of God. We look at them. And I also say that there are different services. And these services, they are serving the same Lord. And I'm saying this because when God has given you the gift of faith, it is to the good of the church. Because Usione sisi wengine ambao hatuna imani kama yako kama hatujafanya nini? Hatujaokoka ama kama hatujui Mungu. When God gives you a gift of healing, it is him who has given it to you. And so when you pray for somebody and immediately they get healed, it is not you really who has healed. It is that God has healed that person and he has used you as a channel of healing. So don't look at us who have prayed for somebody and he has not gotten healed there and then and you think, hakuna mungu, ama hakuna imani. Alright? Because, as the scriptures say, that all these, they are from one spirit and the services that have been and that are offered to this person who has received the gift from the Spirit, he is serving the Lord. Roho Mtakatifu akinipatia kipawa cha imani, niende nifanyishe imani yangu kazi, ni mtumikie mungu na hiyo imani yangu. Kwa nesha sifuye sana. And he also said that God works in different ways, the same God. And if it is the same God who works in different ways, let me say this, people of God, is that God might decide to do what is exactly, or I mean, what is exactly, of course, in accordance to his will, or what is the opposite of our will, of our desire. So we may not really question him. That is him. And there's nothing can change. He is the supreme. Upon your wish, Akisema me, seven. But it's a supreme son. And he works in all of us. Now, why do we receive the spiritual gifts? We're going to mention them, those gifts, don't worry. But why do we receive the gifts? Or maybe I could ask, start by asking who? receives the gifts of the Holy Spirit. It's every believer. Every believer. It's every believer. That is the day that you qualify to receive the gift of the Spirit. And so, why receive the Spirit? spiritual gift or the gift of the spirit the reason is why you receive the gift of the spirit it is to help each other to be of help to be of a blessing to be of benefit into the others now i give you an analogy that in the markets when there are different commodities there is Unga, I mean there is a kwashe, there is a boga, there is a sukuma, there is what? Nyanya, there is kituku, there is hoho, is of it is what? When all these commodities are there, after you sell your products, you benefit from the selling of another person's products. 
So it is with the marketplace of spiritual gifts. If I have this gift, I use it effectively, and then it blesses you. And you, you use your gift effectively, it blesses me. And eventually, the market is not lively. Huh? When the market is not lively, you feel one of the three is in a car. A good marketplace consists of everything the buyer needs. And let me say this. In the church of God, God has distributed all the gifts because he knows they are needed. And as we are saying, Mungu me is a gift zote. Even right now as we are talking, God has given every one of us all those gifts. But the question is, do you know if you have it? And if you know, I saw someone saying, I know. If you know it, do you use it to benefit the body of Christ? Are you using it? Because the reason as why you have it, and you have it, it is to help each. Now look at verse 7. A spiritual gift is given to each, not to some. Not to some. A spiritual gift is given to each of us so we can help each other. <laughs> to give, I mean, given to help each other. So if I, have, if I have a gift of counsel and wisdom, you come to me, I will talk to you. And you feel blessed. That's how it works. Let me tell you. I can have a gift of wisdom. Maybe. As your pastor. You come to me and I will just give you the counsel when you move on this idea. Now, when gift to move on By the way, never see yourself as a poor person. You have nothing to offer. My friend, you have a lot. You have a lot. And that which you have, use it wisely. So if I come and you put here more, you can be you need to put here more either And then you feel good. Do you know what you do? If you are a man of faith, you speak a blessing to me. Even if I'm your pastor, and you're like, ni mi ni kona imani, pastor. We are going, for, we are going to build, pastor. To tajenga, to tajunu a shamba usikuera masiwasi. Ni na mini. That's how you activate the gift. If I come, I don't need anything much from you. It's just that encouragement. With your faith, talk to me. With your faith, talk to another person. Build faith in them. What as if you are sad? Build faith in their lives. And that is how we help each other. Now, but then you can think of if you all come inside in, here in church and you know what you can do. And they allow me to challenge you. You know what you can do. And you just sit in the name of Sijapewa Nafasi. You know that's how how that's how where we hide ourselves, eh? Sijapewa nini? Sijapewa nafasi. Tengeneza nafasi. Nafasi tengeneza. Hata kwa soko, my friend. Eh? Uliza watu wale wanauza Nairobi, moka so Nairobi. Hakuna mtu anapaka amepewa nafasi. Wewe kaanga hapa. Kuna mtu? Hakuna. Na the following day mwezi kuja, ukute mtu anauza kumwambia wewe bwana, toka hapa mimi niko hapa jana hapa ni kwangu. No. Ukifika kwanza, weka mizigo yako hapo hiyo one meter by one meter. Uza mitu zako hapo. Ukikuja ukute mwingine, weka mitu zako hapo. They sell. And mutu wakienda nyubani, they feel they have done their part. Church is a marketplace of spiritual gifts. So please don't just sit there. In the name of the partner of us, create your nafas. Let us see that you can do it. Always, if you keep waiting until the day of the poor, not, not, I mean, uh, noted, uh, it may take time and you, and God wants you to serve. And God wants you to use that ability that you have. Of course, I understand the aspect, the issue of order and all that. It is important. You just need to know what you do, what you can do, and start doing it in the right order. So if we have all the people, so many can sing. I just have six waters. Not to care about if the way you know it happens some some places. No, you know you all feel here in the name of I have a gift. Yeah, Kuimba. 
and you have not even sat down together to plan. You and you disorder in our You have not sat together to pray together and to agree to practice together. But this is a fear, sir. So the reason as to why the spiritual gifts are there, it is to help one another in the church. Now, which are these gifts? Verse 8. The ability to give wise advice as a gift of wisdom. That is the gift of wisdom. Huh? It's a special knowledge where God gives you know, you, and this I believe goes so much with having you no know, that relationship is during a person of prayer, a person of daily word meditation, daily word reading, uh, and you get to discern, uh, you get to discern uh, the things that God speaks to you over your life or even over another person's life. There's a gift of faith, there's a gift of healing, there's a gift of working of miracles, the gift of prophecy. The speaking of tongues, that's a gift also. The ability to translate tongues. You know, sometimes when you're speaking in tongues, you really don't know what you're saying. You're praying, yes. But then also, there are those people that God gives them the ability to translate those gifts that are being uh, spoken. Now, the point is this, as I wind up, that it is the Spirit of God who gives these gifts. It's the Spirit of God who gives these gifts. And I want to know, to say this, I know we hear and somebody will do it, give to God Or you think you don't have. I want us to make a prayer today. That God, I want to serve you with a gift. What is my gift? You are there, you know your gift. Tell the Lord, help me to serve you with the gift that you have given me. I don't just sit. I don't just want to be a church at the, you know, at the D. I just go to church and I do it only two and a half hours. I am done next Sunday again. No problem with that, but you can serve God with the gifts that he has given you. And we don't do this only on Sundays. Note that. You don't only serve God on Sundays. Your gift of healing can work even in your marketplace. When you speak to somebody faith, they know it and they receive it. The gift of healing does not only work on Sundays. In the middle of the week, you can pray for somebody and they will receive their healing. When I shall you, son. You see, Jesus gave an example of this man who wanted to go to a safari on a safari. Na kapatia watu watatu some amount to go and invest. Moja kapatia shiringi mwingine mbili mwingine tano. And the Bible says, all of them, this master, he gave them talents according to their abilities. So alijua vizuri sana kiwango ta kila moja. Alijua na kapatia hiko. And so God gives us gifts according to the abilities that we have. Now, when you are coming here, you can heal people. And when you are coming teaching, you can teach. Coming in counseling, you can counsel. And he knows that ability. So when this master went, two of them were coming to Kazi, Moja Kalala. And when the master came, he asked him for the talents. Watano alikuwa mefanisha tano kazi, zika kuwa kumi. Watano, wambida alikuwa mefanisha kazi, zika kuwa nene. Wakwanza, akuna kitu alifanya. He slept on the talent. And he was cast. It wasn't so easy for him. He was lazy. He was given, yet, he did use what he was given. 
akuitumia kazi akuitumia i mean kwa leo asifiwe sana akutumia aliyopewa is what i'm saying is this friends and people of god there is a day that we will be asked i gave you a gift ulifanyisha kazi aje and you will not have an excuse i'm telling you the truth you will not have an excuse ah huh? you be like ulifanyisha ukufanyisha si kufanyisha lakini ni sababu unaambiwa there is no time to explain so what i'm challenging every one of us is may we arise and use the gifts that god has given us to benefit the body of christ bana sifiwe sana amen to benefit the body of christ and that is why we kuna kuta ya bomba there are so many people today in churches that are doing i mean there are few people who are doing so much when churches have so many people you know yet how to put your neck up some god with that gift no matter the challenges no matter the discouragements no matter the language no matter the what serve god with that gift and indeed he will minister to you what does it your son i want you to close your eyes and uh, and uh, just make a prayer uh, you close your eyes and make a prayer tell god father help me help me nisaidie karama uliyoweka ndani yangu niweze kuifanyisha kazi kwa uaminifu wote just open your mouth and make that prayer in the name of jesus christ i want us to start from all of us tightly let's be on our feet all of us let's be on our feet hallelujah in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus just be on your feet and make a prayer hallelujah mwambie bwana nisaidie karama ambayo umeweka ndani yangu niifanyishe kazi the gift that you are putting me help me to serve you with that gift in the name of jesus just lift up your hands before him and just tell him lord help me i have been sleeping on my gift if you have just tell him, i have been sleeping on my gift and i pray my father help me to 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 serve you with my gift help me to to serve with that gift i want to arise in jesus name and if you don't know which is your gift i want you to make a prayer and tell god father in the name of jesus help me and show me my gift nionyeshe aga karama ambayo umeweka ndani yangu what is it that you've given me to be a benefit to the body of christ what is it that you have helped me that is going to be a blessing to the church that is going to be a blessing to the body of christ in the name of jesus christ son of the living god just open your mouth and just make that prayer in the name of jesus christ the name above every other name father you are so good you're so faithful in the name of jesus christ you want tells us that you are the one who gives these gifts and so in the name of jesus christ and maybe you here you do not know exactly just lift up your hand as we pray the spirit of god is going to help you to know what is your gift just lift up your hand and tell god deposit in me to the understanding of my gift in the name of jesus christ father in the name of our every other name i am praying that lord everyone standing here lord and lifting up their hands up and they desire to understand and to know what is the gift that you have given them i pray in the name of jesus christ may you help them to understand it may you help them to know my father and walk my lord and and, uh, and uh, be faithful even as they serve you in jesus name the gift that you give them it is to serve the body it is to serve the church it is to serve you father god and i pray in the name of jesus christ that it is gonna be well that we are not just to be people going to be seated and sit all through and forget about uh, uh, the, the service or the serving to you god we pray in jesus name that this week uh, we will serve with our gifts in our marketplaces oh god in our places of work uh, in schools at homes uh, wherever we shall be you will give us opportunities for us to serve uh, in the name of jesus christ the name above every other name may you pour out your spirit and you want to tell us that it is spirit who gives uh, those, uh, 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 those gifts to everyone the lord 
uh, uh, desires, oh God, in Jesus' name. We thank you and we praise you, Father. You decide, you are Lord, you decide which every person, which gift every person will receive. And so in the name of Jesus Christ, may you open up the eyes of your people to understand and know their gifts and work uh, faithfully to serve you in those different areas. We thank you, Lord, and we praise you for your good and your faithful. Glory and honor be to your name. In the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray and we give thanks. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray and we give thanks. Amen. Baba, tunakushukuru kwa sababu kila mmoja wetu ambaye mesikia ujumbe huu utamusaidia katika hali ya kweza kukutumikia kwa karama ambazo kumpatia. Mara mingi kuna the excuse of this no opportunity. But I pray May you open up the ears, the eyes of your people to see, to hear you lead them, and also to see the leading, the direction that you're giving them, even to serve, O oh God. I thank you, Lord, I praise you, and honor you, for indeed, you are faithful and you are a glorious God. It is my prayer that all shall be well. And I want to speak your blessings upon everyone here, for those who are listening this message from their homes, for those who are watching us, dear Father, we want to speak the blessings of God upon everybody. And may we as believers, as Christians, as men and women and children who believe you, Lord Jesus Christ, as the Son of our Lord God, we are praying that you may help us to serve and in different capacities that you have given us. And even to give honor where honor is due in accordance to your word. Help us to please you, my Father. Help us that this week we will live a life to honor you and to please you. We give you praise and glory. In the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray and we give thanks. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray and we give thanks. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a good clap. You know. Amen, amen, amen. We can have our seats.